understand things that take flight. What's going on? It's your girl Ty here, which stands for Together Individual Entertainment. All right, today is another double story. And by the way, happy Halloween! That's right, today is Halloween day. And that means it's going to be trick or treating time, time to get the costumes ready, time to make sure everything is prepped. Now, I hope all of you remembered what I said before. Check your batteries, your light bulbs, make sure everything is working for your lights. Make sure your walkways or your driveways or whatever is clear of leaves and everything. Make sure your kids are weather safety as in make sure that they're wearing the proper clothing under their costume or make sure that they have an umbrella, a coat, a jacket, anything to keep them warm. Make sure that they're wearing the proper uh, shoes. Also, I know yesterday was Saturday and I should have done another safety thing, but as usual, it's always best to make sure that you guys understand the proper tools about crossing roads, the stop, look, and listen technique, uh, know your neighborhood, make sure that you have everything ready to go for tonight. For It's going to be one of those awful nights to when you're thinking it ain't going to be safe. Well, unfortunately, I'll explain in the end or once we get into our second story, but believe me, it's going to be one of those times. Anyways, our first story for our double reading along, once again, is The Legend of Spookly, the Square Pumpkin. All right, let's get into it, shall we? And when you get this book, as you can tell, it has a DVD or CD inside. So, you can find this book at any library, or if you want to, you can visit your bookstore and get this book. So, here we go. One day in the pumpkin patch, the strangest little pumpkin hatched. Spookily wasn't like his friends. Where they had curves, he had ends. Spookily was different. He was odd. He was rare. Spookily, the pumpkin wasn't round. He was square. While the round pumpkins had fun rolling along, poor Spookily sat there shaped all wrong. He tried and tried with all his might, but he couldn't budge. He just sat tight. The other pumpkin teased him because he was square. Spookly wished he was round and could roll everywhere. That is until one night when they all discovered it's fine to be round when the weather is fair, but there are times it's better to be square. Halloween was just a day away. When a mighty storm blew across the bay, it tossed them the round pumpkins to and fro. It snapped their vines, then off they go, bouncing left, slamming right, banging and bashing. What a sight! Spookly sat there filled with fright, but glad to be square that night. Suddenly, the fence gave away. Three pumpkins rolled out and into the bay. Spookly knew what must be done. It was up to him. He was the one. He tittered and he tottered. He ripped, he tried, and finally flipped. He was on his side. Again he tipped. Again he flopped. Again he flipped. And then he stopped. Right in the gap where the fence was snapped. He blocked the way the hole was caked. All the pumpkins shouted, Hooray! Spookly, the square pumpkin, had saved the day. Then a pumpkin hit him with a whack. He thought his shell would start a crack. Then another one hit him with a thump, and another one with a smack. Then, one by one, a ton of pumpkins piled on the stack with a bang and a bash and a crunch and a crash, and then it all went black. At dawn, when the storm had stopped, the farmer came out and checked his crop. He picked his pumpkin up one by one and laid them down out in the warm, dry sun. And when the last one was moved away, the farmer could see what had saved the day, an odd-shaped pumpkin. Short and dense, 
was wedged against the broken fence. Its shell was bruised. Its stem was too. But there was a brave little Spookly sitting straight and strong and true. Right then and there, the farmer knew of all the seeds he had ever sown. Spookly was the most special that had ever grown. And the next year, when it was time to sow, he sowed one of those seeds in every row. He watered and weeded and watched them grow. And oh, that morning, about mid-June, when the pumpkin patch began to bloom, there were tiny pumpkins everywhere, hundreds and hundreds, most of them square. Some were cubes and some rectangular. Some were flat and others triangle. There was a bed of bright red ones and two rows of blue. There were polka dot pumpkins and rainbow ones too. There were thousands of colors and hundreds of shapes. Oh, what a garden variety makes. Now, every year on Halloween, Spookly's Patch is quite a scene. People come from far and near to see what wonders grew that year. They stop, they gawk, they gaze, they stare. Then they pick a pumpkin that's round, triangular, or perfectly square. Now you know the story of how Spookly grew. Maybe someday if you tell someone too, they'll go tell someone who... Go tell others, and maybe one day we will all di will discover you can't judge a book or a pumpkin by its cover. All right, that was the tale of Spookly, the Square Pumpkin. And by the way, you can find this special on YouTube, by the way. So if you have the YouTube app on TV, just type in Spookly, the Square Pumpkin, or just Spookly, and you can watch the special on YouTube anytime you want. And like I said, you get this book, it will either come with the DVD or the CD, and for you to enjoy at any library or, of course, a bookstore. But now we need to get into our second story. All right, everyone, this is our second story. Now, I know what you're thinking. Snowman and Halloween? I don't get it. Well, here's the thing, everyone. Most of you live out of state where it snows. And from what I also hear, sometime this week, we're supposed to get snow, too, from where I'm living in Pennsylvania. And trust me, I'm pretty shocked. But I thought, since most of you live in a state where it snows, and I'm about to get snow, I thought, why not do a story about Snowman at Halloween? So, why don't we get into it, all right? Our last story of Halloween this year. One autumn day, the air turned cold, and it began to snow. We went outside and made some snowmen, standing in a row. My sister had a box of dress-ups out for Halloween. And soon, all the snowmen were the scariest we've ever seen. We went off to party, and trick-or-treating, too, then headed home in the dark when everything was in, was through. As we passed our snowman, I thought I saw one wink. Did they want to have fun too? Well, this is what I think. It's a dark and spooky night, but the snowmen aren't afraid. They'll follow one another in the Halloween parade. Gilded down the moonlight, streets into the village square, beckoned by the twinkling lights and lanterns hanging there. They'll see lots of orange pumpkins headed up in a pile. Every snowman gets to carve a very scary smile. They'll like playing all the games and fishing for a prize and have their faces painted by an artist in disguise. Some bite into caramel treats, which give them gooey grins. Others bob for apples in the apple bobbing bins. 
For a coin, the fortune teller sees a snowman's fate. Will it be warm sun or snowstorms? They'll anticipate. Maybe they will wander through a maze made out of hay. Twisting turns and dead ends make it fun to find the way. Someone will be telling tales about a snowman ghost. I'll bet spooky stories is what snowmen like the most. If there's Halloween like mine, they'll want to trick or treat and had a home. Head home with their buckets full of every kind of sweet. There'll be a lot of giggles on their way back home from town, and it'll take a while before those snowmen settle down. That's what I thought they'll do, but I guess I'll never know because it warmed up overnight and melted down the snow. The dress-ups are in piles, but there's something in between. The a snowman message just for us. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! <laughs> Alright, so that was the snowman at Halloween. I hope all of you enjoyed this. But remember, the story time's not over yet, for I have a big surprise storytelling going on for November, and therefore, I really cannot wait. But I really do hope you enjoyed this double read-along for our last Halloween stories of the Halloween season. I can't wait until next year to see what else I can cook up for you guys. In the meantime, this is Ty saying happy Halloween and have a safe night around your town, everyone. Bye!